So hello guys, welcome, welcome to Artist Tanin Bulan, a podcast type of event brought to you by Digital Artists League of Ateneo. And before we start this event with our special guest, I, we would just like to uh, um, introduce ourselves, your interviewers. Um, I am Edward Alipio, a third-year representative of Digital Artists League of Ateneo, and with me is... My name is Sinisti Cagas, also a third-year level representative from Digital Artist League. So today is the highlight of Digital's Artista Ninbulan, a Bicolano term for Artist of the Month, a monthly event that will select outstanding Bicolano digital illustration and animation students who have proven greatness in their craft, and the chosen artist for the month of November who has given a prompt to create an artwork will now give a one to three hour talk sharing his work and experience as a student artist. And he is none other than Mr. Ray Willis G. Maesa, a third year BSBA, BIA student who won first place in digital's first ever Kurit 2022 Tiwaring Kinaban a month-long drawing competition for all enrolled DIA students at Ateneo de Nago University, which took place partner last October 3 to November 3, 2022. Um, this activity was um, um, was conducted to encourage healthy drawing habits for the students as it helps them convey their ideas and emotions in the form of visual arts and develop students' resilience to challenges through daily prompts. So after uh, after the, that Korean um, event, now we have Artista Nin Bulan. And ayun, what, what a pleasure to have um, Mr. Ray here again. Um, by the way, Mr. Ray, um, congratulations for bagging the first place during the Korean 2022. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that and a wonderful introduction. No positive. Ayan. So, um, by the way, guys, this um, Artista Nin Bulan is um, a huge platform for DIA students kasi um, ayun, makakapag-introduce makakapag tayo na paunti-unti ng mga DIA students so that makilala natin sila and then um, matuto tayo sa kanila and so that they could also plant their skills and knowledge just when it, when it comes to um, digital illustration and animation. Yes, tama ka dyan, Ed. It is also a great opportunity for those who want to try or want to enroll for digital illustration animation here in Ateneo de Naga University. So, good day, Mr. Ray. Um, how should we call you, Puba? Is it all right for us to call you Ray lang, Puba? Yes, you can call me Ray. Yes, thank you very much, Paul. So... We've heard that Ray won for Artist of the Month and he was assigned to create an artwork based on this description. Let me cite the description, A Lost Soul. Have your midnights become your afternoons as well? Did you question yourself at all about the fact that it seems your purpose is not real? Have you ever been haunted by your ghost in your mind? A different feeling that is impossible to describe is that of being lost and unfound. Even though you might not always be able to express yourself well, you will eventually come to realize how crucial it is for you to live your life with meaning. Take as much time as you need. Una kong mabasa tong description. It's very confusing at first. And I want to ask Ray, how did you feel after reading the description? Yes, I agree. Actually, it is really confusing. Kasi yung prompt is ang lalim. It is so deep. So when while I'm reading the prompt, like, wala, ang ano, like, it is so deep nga, ganyan. So, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do in the front na to. 
So, yung ganang, <laughs> yung ganang feeling. Like, confused and parang, like, nacha-challenge yung aking ano, ideas. Okay. Ikaw, Ed, ano masasabi mo? <laughs> For me, um, I agree na um, deep ng prompt, pero I I believe na with creativity and um with Ray's own interpretation of the prompt, I um ayan, nakagawa siya ng um ng sarili niyang interpretation of the prompt and um I believe super ganda niya and papakita namin yung guys later on. Yes, maka-excite naman yan. So, ano, shall we proceed with the interview? Okay po. Okay, okay let's start. So, are you considering the um the prompt? Did you find it challenging and um what else do you think about the prompt aside um from being um confused at first? Mm, ano, ano, I think what I found challenging then sa prompt is really yung pag-finalize ng concept because I have a lot of concept na na naiisip like like yung very first na masok sa isip ko na i the draw ko is like there's a person or a soul in a in a forest like he was lost parang ganun so eventually nabago yung yung concept ko into to this sketch here in the screen as you can see so this concept is like a woman na like the puppetry yung face niya into into a sort of a mist or cloud like she was in a in a area of like nothingness, like area of confusion. So ganun. Para na-apply ko na rin yung confusion ko dun sa prompt, dun sa description ng, ng prompt. So here, as you can see, I am um, paint, pigpipaint ko yung, yung mist. So like, as you can see nga, like, Parang nag, yung feeling ng background. Oh, wait lang. So, yung very first ano ko pag nag, pag gumagawa ng illustration is, aside from sketching the, the main subject, so, ang pinaka, inuuna ko talagang i-drawing is yung background. So, kasi, if you start with the background, ma- kukuha mo yung feels ng ng lighting the the ano the shadows yung tone and the the aura of the environment na mag syempre mag reflect din sa sa pinaka subject so ayan so as you can see on my mood board it is really inspired with with a a game or a story from a game which is the ruination if you are familiar with with Diego and his old love story ganyan so dun ako na inspired so now as you can see like tig, nagko-color dub lang ako ng, ng color swatch ni ano ni Isold so like I said yung feels ng environment or reflects dun sa, sa subject. So, nag-change ko yung some colors, nag-add ako ng like a tone ni Isold nung, nung woman to the background. So, like, para maging para maging fit yung background dun sa subject. So, ayan. So, yun. So, now, yeah, as you can see, I'm starting with a new concept na naman. So, pa iba yung concept na naiisip ko. Like, from 
the lost soul from my forest, which is very literal. Next is like a woman protruding face on the mist. Like now, the third concept is like a man being sucked up the mist. So like, big a recycle ko yung background to create a new concept. So like from a different concept to the different concepts to finalization. So that's what that's what ano, make the like now making art or making the prompt really really challenging is yung like yeah like I said yung pag finalist ng concept because yung ideas really is battling with one another like this to that to that so so mahirap like so challenging tenan Yeah, thank you for answering that question. Um, by the way, guys, um, um, baka mo confused lang kayo na sa video na super bilis niya. Um, just, uh, um, just an information for you all. Na nakatayong lapse po yan, so wag po kayo mo confuse. So, um, um, originally, may may hirap po talaga ang pag pag um pag conceptualize and pag the draw itself ng um artworks, cause it takes. Um, a lot of effort and time. Pero ayon, with um great practice, ayon naman po na nakagawa tayo ng super magaganda artwork like na nagawa ni Ray um with this one. So what I really love about um artists in general like Ray is that um dumadaan sila sa trial and error because like how he conceptualized this artwork, di ba partner? Um. Na from a um a women biglang napapunta na lang sa um a men na sinasak up ng mist di ba parang ang ang ganda ng mind ng um artists so creative and um puro progress talaga sila through time so i really do envy artists na nagte-take ng time nila unlike sa mga artists na Gusto nila rush, they want perfect. Pero all art naman kasi, di ba, dumadaan sa mahabang process. And I really do like your mood board here and the colors. <laughs> so shall we proceed with the second question? Yes. Um, Speaking of challenges, Aside from our prompt, do you, do you have a period in your life as an artist where you wanted to scrap everything and give up? Um, especially dito sa um sa naging process mo na ang dami mo talagang naging concept um before finalizing it. Yes, actually, ano like sabi ko nga sobrang dami ng concept na naiisip ko and naglalaban talaga sila sa utak ko so. I can't make a final concept, so it's. I think yeah, there is. I know. Wait, lang. There's so there's there's this time na like you are enjoying your work that you see that kala mo like like okay na. Then time will come when while you were sketching or like. Finalizing your work, na parang ma fell out of love ko dun sa ginagawa mo. Like, actually, ito, ito yung nangyari. So, di ba sabi ko, I have three concepts. Actually, madami nga. Five, la, five yata. So, your first concept ko, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Sketched out ko sila lahat. Sige, sketched out ko sila lahat from... Yung first concept ko like 20% done. The second concept 40. Third 50. Then yung fourth is yung pinakamalaki is like 80% done. So there are times talaga na like ma, ma feel man na like 
Hala, ano, parang feel ko off yung ginagawa ko dun sa concept or like, am I taking this this concept or the from literally? So, sabihin ka niya sa sarili ko. Like, may internal conflict niya, syempre. Like, ah, ayoko na to. Wala na to, eh, kasi na to. Then, another one, mag-sketch na naman ako. Ay, hala, wala, off na naman. Talagang, ano, there, time will come that that you will, like, ma-realize mo na wala. Ma, parang, papaltan at papaltan mo yung concept, no? Because here's also a tip, ano, from itong tip na to, like, I heard this from a, a video. Siguro i-search na lang yung Riot Games, A Day in the Life of an Artist. I-search nyo. So, this concept artist, her name is Jem Lim. That's what I remember. Jen Lim. So she said that, dun sa video na, na sabi niya na that. So she, siya yung nag-conceptualize nung ano na nung, if you are familiar, familiar with Evelyn sa League of Legends. So siya yung assigned to conceptualize her reworked version. So sabi niya doon like, Ang dami kong nagawang concept. Ang dami niyang parang, parang, in love, parang ano, parang in love na in love siya dun sa gawa niya, dun sa mga concept na nagawa niya. So, sabi niya dun. So, Evelyn's concept is like, like an assassin, right? So, if you are familiar lang. So, Evelyn is, is an assassin. So, so, gems, Miss Gems concepts are like, mage-like. So, Mitch is a different role in, in League. So, her concept less is like, so in love siya dun sa concept na may just type yung kanyang ganyan. So, pagdating niya dun sa, ano, dun sa art director, sabi ng art, the art director, parang, parang namang hindi mo kang assassin itong, itong gawa mo. So, parang, syempre mo, parang ma, ano niya, na feel niya like, is like, wala shit, ang daming time kong nag-google sa, sa concept na to and, I fell out. I fell in love with this concept. Then ganyan. Tapos pagdating sa final, sa final ano, dun sa pag, dun sa final comment ng art director is like, no, baguhin mo yan. It is very mage, mage-like. It is, she is, she does not look like an assassin. Ganun. So, ganun. So, so my point is like, ang, ang pinaka sinabi niya is like, don't fall in love with a concept. So, dapat ready ka i-trash out yung yung concept na yun. Even though, in love na in love ko dun sa gawa mo. Time will come, an art director or someone will comment like, it is not good. So, change it. Ganyan. So, so, ayun. So, yeah. like, dapat ready ka i-trash out everything. Like, i-give up mo yung concept, i-give up mo yung kahit tapos na yan, i-give up mo para siyempre ito, para siyempre pag uh, when you think this is like, like eh, i-comment like ganyan give it, give it up and uh, make another better version kana so kana sa akin so I think it's very personally you think like the I don't know if I can apply it to the artist. That's right. So we'll surely check out that artist that I mentioned to Ray. That's Jem Lim again. Guys, check out her. Especially for the fans of League of Legends. So that's it. Listening to Ray, I realized that she's really the passion when it comes to creating art kasi um ewan ko if this applies to everyone pero uh, for me kasi i believe na um the key to um a good art or artwork is uh, dapat talaga may patience ka and also um dapat hindi ka nagi give up kasi ayun we eventually um end up with um amazing artworks like nitong gawa ni Ray kapag Um, we do not give up easily. 
I think siguro applicable din yan sa future career din natin, especially working with other people in films or anything. We should train ourselves to accept criticisms from others. It's like we're, ano ba? we're like building armor for ourselves. But the train din tayo, kumbaga. And True. I think that's a note for everyone. Na, now, no artist is perfect. We have our own, we have our own styles. But, we have to, paano ba, like, squeeze ourselves para ma-please natin yung clients natin, di ba? And, I think that's my comment. <laughs> I also believe um, um, na this also applies for those um uh, starting pa lang as an artist. Kasi, ayun, importante talaga guys na nag-create din tayo for betterment. Kasi, mm-hmm. tulad nyo na nabanggit kanina ni Rina, I'll create for betterment para, ayun, maganda talaga yung maging output natin. Um, how about your, um, since, um, nabanggit mo nga, um, Rina, um, challenging tong, um, to naging prompt, um, how's your health? in terms of mental and physical, um, the experience art blocked or any burnout situations? Mm, how do I handle my mental and physical? Actually, my simple answer for that is to sleep. Because, <laughs> like, if you are sleeping, naman, diba? your mental and physical your mental, yung, syempre, your mind and your body. Syempre, pag natutulog ka, it will rest up. So, pack one. So, ano, you, you took two birds in one stone. So, sleep. But, yeah, nang, syempre, we are DIA students, so, hindi naman laging applicable yung sleep. So, ang hirap kumuha ng tulog if you are a DIA student, di ba? So, kasi tayo, di ba? DA students, so, we tend to like nang sit all day making art or like doing our work. So, ang hirap i... mahirap i sabay yung or like to, to take care of our body mentally and physically because like, like sitting or sitting all day like ng yung back natin <laughs> arched, arched down. So, di ba, sumasakit yung likod natin, ganyan. So, aside from from sleeping, I think, yeah, ano, rest lang talaga. Kasi, kasi nang ano, hindi natin naman siyempre kailang ipush yung sarili la, lagi natin na dapat like work, 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 siyempre. Dapat rest din. Ganun. So, ayun. Sleep. Sleep, rest. Yan. Yan po. I think we can all agree with Ray. Kasi, um, as DIA students talaga, um, hirap na tayo ngayon mag, um, mag, mag rest. Pero, ayun guys, as much as we want to, um, uh, improve in terms of our, our, um, creative skills and as much as we want to, um, keep up with every requirements we have. Um, we shouldn't um, neglect our health kasi important thing, important yan. Kasi kung um, hindi tayo healthy, hindi rin naman tayo makakapag gawa ng art or and other creative stuff, di ba? Yes, I agree. Ikaw ba, Yunis, anong coping mechanism mo when it comes to art block or any burnout situations? Honestly, 
nagsistress eating. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Pero ano, connected to this next question natin. Sa ano, with social media and the information na nangyayari sa atin, especially here in the Philippines, OMG, paano ka nagkakop or how do you keep away from those distractions? Oo, grabe ngayon sa social media. Shit, lalo na sa mga, ano, sa mga news and all, ano, mga issues, ganyan. Siguro, ano, ang ginagawa, ang ginagawa ko is like, ano, ng, parang ang attitude ko dyan is like, careless sa, hindi siya careless na like, ignore mo siya completely, but careless na lang sa mga bagay-bagay. But syempre, you have to put also sympathy to what what's going on in our country and also, but yung mga issues like, yung mga social celebrities like that. No. Well, <laughs> you can take part naman, syempre, makiosyoso bit. Pero sa akin, ang pinaka, ano ko is like, pinaka-attitude ko dyan when it comes to like, distractions from social media is to careless lang. Syempre, sarili mo muna anahin, sarili yung problema, muna muna anahin, mga like that. Careless of things. But, syempre, kailangan, hindi tayo maging, ano, like, completely blinded with, with what's going on. So, yun lang tip ko, like, that's what I do. I care less with the things going on on the social media and other platforms. Ganyan po. From what you see from social media, ano na feel mo? Do you feel frustrated or um? Masiguro pag na intrigue ako dun sa bagay, like super kung ano niyari sa bansa natin. Super ayano. No, I read articles naman kanyang like I read stuffs. Super before bago ka makiosos or magshare ng mga bagay, you have to read it first. bago ka mag, ano, ano, makisali, makisawso. Kasi yung iba, di ba? Like, this kind of, ano, is like, parang, ano isang tao, like, hindi naman, hindi naman alam lahat, hindi naman alam, alam lahat na nangyayari, pero, nakikisawso. So, like, parang ignorance of things na nangyayari, pero, ang dami sa, ang dami yung putak. <laughs> ang dami yung putak. Ganun. <laughs> Pero may mga artists, di ba, like, they use that frustration and they put it in their art. Yes. <laughs> Mayroong ganun. Actually, ask ko lang din Ay, sana. Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> ask ko pa lang sana if um, those um, from reading articles, um, na, nagiging source po rin pa siya as an inspiration to um, create an artwork or something. Yung articles... Honestly, hindi. Pero what I feel about that or... The issue itself, siguro, in general, yung mga oh. sa social media and all. Hmm, hindi. Hindi ko siya ginagawa ng art. I don't, like, hindi ko siya ginagawa ng inspiration sa art ko. Because like, hindi siya, ano sa ano ko, parang hindi ako... Ayoko ng politically inclined artworks, ganun. <laughs> Pero interested ako dun sa, like, social issues. Like, di ba, yung artist, kilala nyo naman si Tarantadong Calvo, ganyan. Ganun na. Nang gusto, ko, gusto ko din naman yung mga ganun art, pero I don't see myself, like, making ganun. Um, in terms of your um, reputation as an artist, have you received any criticisms that has shown negativity or hindered your your um, reputation and going as an artist? 
And if um yes, paano siya nakahandle? <laughs> Grabe. And I remember yung isa kong artwork. If mai plug in dito sa video yung art ko like yung Valorant art style na na original concept. So, ang daming ano, di shinare ko siya sa isang group. So, syempre, like very diverse yung yung audience doon. So, like merong Chinese people like ano y- Nang ano, you ano, ugly. But, syempre, di ba yung, ano, like, ita-translate mo siya, so, ma, curious, curious ka kung anong ibig sabihin ng Chinese character. So, pag pindot ko nung si translation, <laughs> biglang lumabas, you ano daw, ugly daw. Sabi, wala, shit. Ay, sorry, sorry for the word. Wala. Okay. So, ang ginagawa ko pag ganyan, Ito, ano na lang, tinitake ko na lang siya, like, hala, o oh, oh, nga no, ang pangit nga, ganyan. <laughs> Parang ginagatungan ko na lang. Like, o oh, nga, ang pangit ng ano, sabi kasi ng mga comments doon, mostly ang comments nila, like, very inspired daw kay dun sa isang character, like, which is actually true naman, kasi yun nga yung purpose ko to, ano, to like make I e character dun sa out of the game, if you are familiar with Valorant. I took inspiration with some of the agents. So, ganun. Ang daming comments sa ganun, like, ng, ano. Pero, like, comments like, ng, oh, ng, ano, like, like twin siya ni ganito, ni ganyan. Like, she looked like ganito. So, I take it na, ano, like, yes, true naman, kamukha naman talaga. Kasi, tama naman, totoo naman. <laughs> Kasi, dun, dun ko nga na yung inspiration. So, with this kind of critici- criticisms, so, like, ugly, like, ang pangit ng nose, like, disproportioned yung body, like, tinitig ko siya, parang tinitig to take note ko siya sa utak ko, like, and I also take it na, ano, like, a, parang tigpipin down ko. So, like, oh, yung nose pala, ano, medyo off. So, I think sa next artwork ko, gawin kong ano, mas okay. Sabi daw na, sabi daw, sabi ng iba, like, it's, ano, saturated, ano, overly saturated. So, next time, sab- next time yung colors ko, siguro i-adjust ko para it, mo- it, looks, mo- it looks more appealing sa, sa screen, ganyan, ganyan. So, ganun yung ginagawa ko sa mga criticisms. I take note of that, then... I'll improve my art later. Ganun. Grabe mo na pagka-harsh nun, ano? <laughs> True. Pero great thing na um, hindi nagpadala dun si Ray. Kasi, um, ayun, minsan din talaga ang mga not well-constructed na criticisms. Um, especially if you're an artist, minsan hindi natin sila natitake well and Meron siyang um, tol sa mental health din natin in some way. Oo, oh, at saka ano, mapapaisip ka ulit na ano ba, like, is my practice even enough? Ganun. Pero let's stop thinking about it and start improving, di ba? Ang dami pang time. We can do that and achieve that kind of art style someday, di ba? True. Pero from yes. what, yan, from what we have um, mentioned sa situation niya, I believe wala namang masama if you will take inspiration from a specific um, ano din, artwork. For example, in sa Valorant, as long as you don't take um, credit dun sa... Um, sa mismong um, concept. Kasi, ano, I believe lahat naman tayo, um, especially those sa mga starting, nagiging source of inspiration talaga nila yung mga existing artworks na. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as, ayun, we use them to improve them and eventually discover our own art styles. 
And also, I would just like to remind everyone that um, um, it is really important for artists to um, um, it is really important to um, give feedback to artists because um, for sure na help siya, But then um, we should also be um, be reminded that um, dapat constructive din yung magiging feedback natin sa artworks nila and we should be more kinder so that um, hindi naman um, ma-discourage yung artists to continue with their um, passion. Oo, tsaka everybody starts from scratch, diba? Halos lahat nagsimula sa mga stigma, diba? <laughs> yes. Oh, ikaw ba rin? Nag-start ka rin ba sa stigma nung um, starting ka pa lang? Oo, oh, nung siguro seven years old, tinuruan ako nung, nung tita ko or ano. Pinsan ko ba yun? Ewan ko. <laughs> Kay Ate Jelik. Hello, Ate Jelik. Thank you sa pagturo. <laughs> like, from stigma to, to ano, to like buff stickman may meron ng laman yung stickman <laughs> so dun yung nag-start <laughs> yung pagdo-drawing ko like okay. yung ano so, galing kasi ako na nung ano ay mamukwento <laughs> galing ako na nung ano nung from a art tutor ganyan tapos tuwing umuwi ako nung ano nung bahay sa lo- bahay ng lola ko like andun si Ate Jelly ko din like yeah, tuturuan niya kang ganyan-ganyan. So, yan. <laughs> I'd like just to, ano, to thank her. Thank you po. Yan. Yan. Shout out naman sa Ate Jellic ni, um, ni Ray. Um, look at him now. Artista ni Bula na po siya ngayon. Sana proud po kayo sa kanya. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's proceed to our next question. This is very interesting. Uh, how do you describe your art? And where did you find inspiration for all of your artwork? Ayun na, magkakaalaman na po mga kaibigan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, siguro, i-describe ko yung art ko overall. Like, ano, versatile. Then, I have, ano, siguro, three words to describe my art. So, versatile um do you call this inconsistent yan very ano yan and then the last one is like evolving ayan yan three words na yan what best this best describes my ano, my art po si ano wait so explain ko ano why so first versatile kasi actually I thought nakuha ko na yung pinaka art style ko pero it came up na wala pa talaga so my artworks are really like a random style like from anime style na painterly style actually yung ano ko dyan, yung if ma plugged in yung three best works may meron siyang inspired by a painter like ng si Jose Goya cuz si Jose Goya na ana they call this yung black paintings niya so na inspire ako dun sa ganun so i made one myself <laughs> based on what i feel tig, tig paint ko siya so ganun so aside from painterly like so i took inspiration also from games from movies ganun so versatile siya big because I can, ano, like, nag adjust ako ng art style based on what is on demand. Like, ano yung demanded ng, sa, sabihin natin, sa time, anong demand sa theme, and kung ano yung pinaka-demand sa style. Ganun. Like, for example, dun sa naganap na kurit, 2022, like, I have a very short time, time, ano, time to create one prompt per day, so it's really, like, challenging, like, magsa-start ako nyan, di, ano, di, di ba, 11pm ang pasa, so, 
mag-start ako niyan 7 p.m. Like, hala, ano, anong gagawin ko? So, concept, conceptualizing pa lang, it take, for me, it takes two hours to, to find a reference, to find ideas, ganyan-ganyan. So, from 7 to 8, I'm just conceptualizing. Ay, 7 to 9, ganyan. So, conceptualizing pa lang ako niyan. So, parang, binabagay ko yung art style based on what is on demand. Like, syempre, so short time, short span ng time, like, tibiroyin mo 7 to, so, 7 to 11 p.m. So, ano yung fit na art style to, to compensate yung, yung, sa, sa artwork. So, ang initially, ang pina, ang ano ko, ang gawa ko dyan is like, yung anime style. Kasi, di ba, alam naman natin, like, anime styles are, like sketch, flat colors, counting, you know, counting highlights, then another shades, kanyang ganyan so, so ganon. And then kung mapansin yun din yung sa works ko sa kurit, ano siya? Like iba iba yung yung atake ko per per prompt per ano per theme ba yan? per theme like sa yung very first theme is like yung steam bank so naisip ko is like hmm, what if mag create ako i create ko yung mga prompts into like a a to a black and white sim, cinematic ish na concept so sabi ko uyo okay pwede yan so so nag create ako like ano so into a created it into black and white so then sa atom punk yung sunod sabi ko hala hindi na applicable dito yung black and white cause atom punk is like very colorful so sabi ko need ko na na mag adjust ng art style so anime style pa rin pero syempre we need ng atom punk demand colors and texture and ano ganyan ganyan hindi nag adjust ako ganyan then so Pagdating sa cyberpunk, di, yun, iba naman. So, ganun. Adjust lang ng adjust. So, that's why, ano, dinescribe ko yung art ko in kurit and overall in general as versatile cause dapat flexible ka based on what is demanded. Next is, ano yung next? I, ano, inconsistent. Ayan inconsistent because because as you can see if okay magpo-plug na ng, <laughs> ng art account so if you visit my IG account ang name niya is it's me Raem with double e sa Rae sa Ray kanan so if you pag na-visit niyo siya it, it is like very inconsistent, like, na, eh, ng, sa very first, sa very first picture, like, very first work, like, color, may color, then, next is, like, may black and white na naman, then, magiging traditional, magiging digital, ganun, ganyan, with different, ano, quality, so, sa, di sabi ko, ala, napaka inconsistent ko naman mag, ano, gumawa kasi ako honestly art ano ko nang ano lazy artist like like hindi ako parang makikita mo ako gumagawa ng art ngayon ng like for the whole week then for the next two months wala na so parang hala nang ano di syempre after two months magfe-fade yung ano yung yung skills mo to to draw Ganyan. So, the next artwork naman na ipopost ko, like, a very, ano, like, parang low quality, ganyan. Then, next, for the next week naman, like, mag-grind na naman ako pag-drawing. So, the next week, the next artwork would be quality. Ganun-ganun. So, <laughs> so, ganun. Kung nati-describe, from, makikita naman from my art account, like, very inconsistent. So, ganun. <laughs> so, the third one is evolving. 
Yan. So, aside from being inconsistent sa IG account ko, sa art account, you can also see that yung progress from nag-start ako at actually mag-digital art last 2020. 2020 what? Or 20... Yeah, second year. Second year ba? Basta yan. So, I start... Yung very first photo dun is like yung pinaka-hype nung Among Us nila. So, I made a fan art of it. So, just scribbles, line art, like sinabi ko sa anime style. Pero very, ano siya, very low quality. Masasabi kong low quality pa yung gawa ko dyan. Then I tried to also yung second photo. So, na-inspire ako na gumawa ng isang splash art. Then, I made the e splash art style na ano. Pero, masasabi ko na, yeah, it is really, ano, low quality pa for that stage of to, to that stage of my artist digital artist ano journey like very raw pa yung skills ko to make art so as times goes by super nagde-develop also yung atake ko sa mga art style is like also developing or shampo inang i can say that na ano, evolving siya. So, nag-try ako ng different art style. Then, I tried to I tried to make So, I tried to, I tried to, ano, like to try out more art style than ng tig-try ko siya i-improve like to the Sabi, <laughs> wait lang, par parang nagmamataas naman yung ano, to equality type ganyan na ano, production type na style na ng artwork. So, kung makita nyo dun sa art account ko yung rel na fan art. So, dun ko in-start in to, to push myself into a painterly, to paint, hindi lang yung art, anime art style na like yung flats lang, ganyan. I tried to paint talaga from, from scrap. Like, yun. <laughs> so ngayon, syempre masasabi ko naman, and I'm very proud of it naman na, I can say na, yung art ko is, improved talaga siya. Like, it evolved from, an anime style, raw, into, I can say naman na, na, improved, like, <laughs> as you can see naman sa, ano ko, sa, from, from this, sa, na nagpa-play sa video, compared to, the very first photo, so like, so, yeah, nakaka-proud lang sa sarili, so, ganun, yan po. <laughs> Wow, for me, yung three words na na share mo is actually um um advantage siya as an artist kasi um especially sa pagiging versatile and um sa evolving pag sa 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 pag evolve ng art um ng art mo um kasi especially sa um sa industry natin um kapag versatile ka ibig mo madami ka mga offer and um, being flexible means you can do or at least try different art styles kasi you're used to it na tulad nga diba na napanggit mo kanina and um in evolve is also um um pagkakaroon ng um yung pag -e evolve um parang ano rin siya in a sense eagerness to for improvement so Ayun, ang ang ganda ng mga words na na, na na gamit mo to describe your art kasi somehow connected sila and ayun, parang yes, you know. <laughs> hindi ko hindi ko na maano pero ay parang 
it shows naman din kasi sa artwork mo here. Di ba, partner? Yes. Alam nyo ba, stock ko yung IG. <laughs> Sorry for it. But I see your improvements. Hindi pa po chan. I love it. Oh. Ayun nga. Isa pa yan. About the um, pag-evolve. Kasi um, through evolve, ano bang ibang ano? form ng word na evolve. <laughs> Hanggang evolve lang ako eh. So, um, through um, evolving artworks, may kita mo yung nagiging ano mga um, nagiging progress through time and um, seeing that motivates you rin, di ba? Yes po. <laughs> so, um, so before we um proceed with the last question, meron lang sana ko isisinyut kasi um meron meron isang tao na nag-suggest actually nitong question na to. Pero ask lang namin Ray, why why did you decided to pursue DIA? Mm. Actually Okay, <laughs> mag-share ako na. So, actually, ano siya. Second option ko is DIA. Because yung first choice ko is like, ano, yung pagsisiman. So, I I tried to, to, ano, mag, like, exam dun sa PMA. Ay, PMMA. So, tama ba? Philippine Merchant Marine Academy yan. So, so I passed sa entrance. Then, sa second exam ako bumagsak, which is uh, the medical. So, I have, I have a lot of complications sa, sa ngipin, sa weight. So, ganun. So, so, that moment is really devastating. Pero, I also see light naman in to my second option. Wow, pinaan. <laughs> Pero like I'm really also passionate naman din po sa pagdo-drawing and all. But syempre at those times si man yung pagsisiman is like yung pinaka ano talaga, matunog. Then comes second comes na yung, yung DIA. So, I think, ng ano, syempre, ng, ang, laki, ang big word kasi nung passionate. So, sabihin ko lang, I'm fond of making stuffs na related sa art. So, ganun. So, that made me, ano, pursue DIA ng, <laughs> layo, ano, from be, being marine to, marino to, an, ano, to an artist. So, ganun. Yun yung story. Pero, I think what really, ano, yung pinaka-deciding -de factor na to take DIA is like, yun nga, parang gusto ko rin i- parang palawakin or i-explore pa yung yung environment ng isang yung pagiging artist. Aside from being curious about what's happening on the, on the, ano, happening on the, what do you call this? Basta dun sa environment ka ng, ng artists. So, ganun. Nalala ko yung interview namin, yung interview ko kay, kay Sir Omar. Like, yung tanong niya is like, ano, kung ano yung nag-decide like dun. So, ang um, Lo na isip ko bigla pinaka na isip ko bigla is like oh ano sir I like Alita Battle Angel movie ganyan so I like the ano the effects and all ganyan ganyan so <laughs> para wala kang maiisip straight up so um siguro like now siguro like syempre DIA is sabihin kong very rare na 
very rarely na nakikita sa sa ladi ko maano yung ma put into words yung ano yung thing na yun basta the DIA is like very rare na hindi mo akalain na kukunin mo ganun cause hindi nga hindi siya matunog pero like like sabi nga nun ni sir la, dun sa orientation seminar na na walang nag walang nag push sa you to to take this like di ba sa nursing like sabi ng mama mag nursing sabi ng mama mag doctor but DIA is very different because pinili mo ito because of your sa sige sabihin ko ng passion of art of doing something artistic ganun yun yung pinaka naaalala ko pinaka naaalala ko sa dina yan yan <laughs> wow ang astig from um dreaming to be easy man bigla kang um napapunta sa DIA pero um throughout your journey um sa pagiging DIA masasabi mo bang um happy ka happy ka and you're enjoying the pro- the program Yes, ma- masasabi ko namang happy, pero yeah, stressed out, <laughs> stressful, pero yeah, enjoy, enjoy naman. Yeah. True. Ah, hindi na rin yun matatanggal talaga sa journey natin yung yes. stress. I guess not naman stress sa courses nila, pero yan. <laughs> yes. And um, to round up everything, um, would just like to ask this final question. Um, what advice would you give to a young aspiring artist? Mm. Okay. So, siguro, tip, no? So, like, siguro technically, if you're doing an art ng ano, wag kayo matakot mag hanap ng reference, di ba? Kasi yung mind, mindset ng iba, like, uy, ano, taking references or cheating, yun yan. So, like, parang mas gusto nila yung, ano, like, very original, pero di nila alam, like, of proportion na yung body, yung anatomy and all the colors. So, technical side ng guys, if you are, like, nagdadalawang isip to take references and, like, na ano yung ego nyo to to create an original artwork wag kasi references are really her, ano, helpful tapos um, siguro sa ano ibang side dun nga sa I remember yun is saying yung armor siguro yung armor na ibibuild natin as an artist when we are taking this kind of harsh comments and like na comments na mag nakakapag devastate ng ating ating artistic side so i think yung armor na ibibuild up natin is like made out of ano na lang leather or sabihin nating made out of wood kasi if we made our armors like metal impenetrable I think yung mga comments na ganun will not sink in and yung artworks natin is magiging like it will be like the same as it is like but ako makikinig sa yo sino ka ba yung ego natin as an artist ganun di ba so make our armors light still penetrable and also like make us to make us also vulnerable with this kind of stuff like hate and ganyan another is like when it comes to your artworks guys wag niyo i-compare yung artworks niyo sa artworks ng iba kasi 
ito sinasabi ko to sa sarili ko lagi. Your, kasi nag-iisa ka lang, your art is unique. So, huwag niyong i-compare yung art niyo, even though you're starting up. Your art is unique from others, so don't, wag, wag na wag niyong, wag na wag niyong, pamamaraan, like, yeah, ang ganda naman ng art group nito, pero pagdating sa akin, like, ang ano ko, like, parang yan, hindi, hindi improve or something, like, very ano pa, so wag ganun, like, ma magdadating yung araw, like, you will improve, kasi, yun, dadating yung araw na mag improve ka and all, also, hindi lang naman, external yung kalaban mo, syempre. Kalaban mo rin yung sarili mo internally. So, mas mahirap nga yung kalaban yung sarili ng, ng kumpara sa like, comment ng ibang tao. Kasi, like, ano nang mangyayari if if you bash yourself, like, ganyan, ganyan. So, ganun. Guys, don't. I, <laughs> grab yun don't, don't pala decision. So try to ano. Try to make yourself vulnerable yet ano. Vulnerable yet yet ano. Nang yung atake or yung comments sa nang i ano nyo nang i-absorb nyo to to make an art to make your art more ano more productive in a way na like magi-improve siya yan po so that's my tips for new and young aspiring arti artists. Wow, thank you, Ray, for that wonderful advice for um young aspiring artists. Actually, wala na ako mga comment kasi I totally agree. So, guys, sa mga nakikinig, take note of that kasi very helpful siya, especially sa magiging journey niyo as an art, uh, as an artist. So, um, partner, do you have anything to add? So, thank you so much, Ray, for that wonderful, ano ba? <laughs> thank you dahil binigyan mo ang mga co-artists mo ng inspiration to do their artwork. So let me read the citation. Okay. Digital Artist League of Ateneo, Digital Arts and Computer Animation Department, Ateneo Dinaga University, presents this certificate of appreciation. is hereby awarded to Mr. Ray Will Willis G. Maesa in grateful recognition for his invaluable insights, experiences, and expertise shared at the first artist talk of Artista Nimbulan for the month of November. Given this the 27th of November, 2022, signed by Sir Patrick Aaron R. Moller, the, the digital moderator, and Ariane Paul Alvarez, the digital president. Thank you so much for Thank you. Yeah, again, Ray, really, really thank you for um your time and effort today. So congratulations again, and we hope to see you soon sa campus. Kasi, you know, meron ng um, nagbabalik na tayo sa face-to-face. -face. Next time. <laughs> yes. Actually, meron na, meron na di ba ngayon, partner? Ah, meron ba kayong face-to-face, -face, Ray? Or at least hybrid? Okay, sir, Ben, yung hardly ng hybrid, di ba? Ah, yes. So, ayan, congratulations again, Ray, and thank you sa pagpapaunlock sa aming event, and 
And again, everyone, Ray Willis Maesa, our artista ng bulan. Round of applause. Yay! Thank you, Po. So that's it for our artista ng bulan. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and we hope you learned something from Ray. Or maybe do you have anything more to add? Um, I would like to thank Digital for having us as the speakers. <laughs> no. And I hope this this event will continue and I hope we can showcase more talented artists like Ray. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, I would I don't, I'd also like to thank you guys, Edward, Edward Yunis, Rebecca, and Angie, and to Digital. Thank you for, for this opportunity, this award. Thank you, po. thank you very much. It really means to me, po. Thank you. Yay. By the way, Ray, would you like to plug your um art accounts once again, um for um. Oh, yeah. so ang pinaka active kong account is uh, my IG, which is actually inaamag na. <laughs> so active pero inaamag na. So it's it's me Raem with double E sari. Yun po. So yun Twitter di ko na plug since it's going down. <laughs> And also yung ano sa F page ko kaka 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 gawa ko lang siya actually. When you know when the COVID started, so like it's actually hindi siya active. I'm not really posting stuff there. So I think sa IG, yeah, it's Mira M. Yan po. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You guys can follow him so that wala niyo pwede niyo siyang IDM and ask questions and maybe Ray would be able to answers. Answers? Answer your questions. <laughs> o oh, diba? Sobrang litang pala. Anyway, thank you again guys for tuning in. And that's it for for this Artista ni Bulan. Have a great yeah. day and stay creating. Stay creating, nice. Thank you.